Hello everybody, it's Terry Terry back again another video. Today's video is going to be about... I'm still in this Roger Federer topic. I want to do a video about this. I want to go into Federer's... I'm, I cannot do it, but I'm trying to do the best possible way. How Federer felt when he faced Djokovic and Nadal. After facing those dudes in the beginning of his career, like Roddick, Isafi, Hewitt, Baghdadis, Gonzalez, a, a 35 years old Agassi, uh, Filipusis. Then, when these two beasts, Nadal and Djokovic, came into the scene, how Federer was feeling when the ball, when he was hitting everything at them, he was hitting the entire chicken sink at them, it didn't matter. Everything was coming back towards Federer. Which was never the case in the beginning of his career. Federer was ending the rallies, say, in the six, seven, eight shots. It was over. Point one for Federer. Which was not the case when Federer was facing these two beasts, Nadal and Djokovic. How was Federer facing? How was Federer feeling? When he just... When suddenly the competition got so much harder when the competition when the winning points got so much harder winning when matches when big finals grand slam finals semi-finals you made you name it became so much harder winning how must feather have felt i believe he felt shocked he felt shocked do you know what i believe he felt he was feeling like, oh my dear God, I have faced cats in the beginning of my video. Now I'm facing lions in, in the beginning of my video, I'm sorry. In the beginning of my career, I was facing cats and I am a tiger. Fed is the tiger and the tiger always defeats the cats. The tiger always eats up the cats. The tiger always knocks out the cats. Now, all of a sudden, it is a lion's all in the other side of the net. It is a lion's. And what happens when a tiger faces a lion? What happens by tennis fans all around the world? Who wins? Who wins when a tiger faces a lion? Feder of the tiger, Nadal Djokovic, the lions. Of course the lion will prevail. Of course the lion will prevail. That was exactly what Federer was feeling when he was facing Nadal and Djokovic in those big Grand Slam finals and semi-finals and quarter-finals and you name it. Whatever. He was feeling that the competition, my dear God, went from facing cats to facing lions. And I'm the tiger. I defeated the cats while being tiger. I cannot defeat the lions while being tiger. Those cats never tested Roger Federer's shot tolerance. He never was forced to go into long rallies with those. Just watch the whole matches. Please, please don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. Maybe some of you say, this guy is an idiot. It's okay, you can think that. But we have those proofs on, t on TV. Just go watch the matches. Don't care what I'm saying. Just watch if Roddick, Safi, you, it's Filipusis, Gonzalez, Baghdadis, Gon Agassi. If they was testing Federer's shot tolerance. Just watch for yourself. And then comment on my comment section below. Watch it. Of course not, they were never testing Roger Federer's shot tolerance. The rallies were never long. Because they are not lions, my tennis friends, all around the world. They are cats. And cats cannot test, cats cannot challenge a tiger's shot tolerance. But when the lion come into the scene, like Nadal and Djokovic, yeah, my friend, then a tiger will be in trouble. 
and it, it was exactly what happened. Then a tiger will get his shot tolerance tested, and it was exactly what happened. The lions were testing the tiger's shot tolerance, Roger Federer, the tiger, and Rafa Nadal, the lion. And you know, guys, we all know that the, ti the lions are always stronger than the tiger, all the days in the week. All right, guys, if you did, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you next time. Peace.